Yo, what up? Today's the day that we get to take the trailer to the weigh bridge. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna slay it. We're gonna... Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are actually finishing this trailer off. All we need to do is basically take it down to a weigh bridge, get it weighed, and if it's under 750, we are all done. It's over 750, we have to fit brakes. Might even fit brakes anyway, don't know yet. But some things I wanted to quickly show everyone that I've done. I've actually done a new table at the back. Pull this cotter pin out, drop it down, and we've got a beautiful, nice wood table to cook our dinner, cut stuff up on, and I think the wood just looks a little bit classier than a bit of metal. So I'm pumped about that. Now, if you look down here, you can see that I've also added a second stabilizer leg. We did only have one previously here, but a uh, three-legged horse never rocks, so we put three on. Two, and we've got the jockey wheel. Three. I did have to move the water outlet for the hose, so that's just a little bit to the side now, and that is it for the back. I did also get some Velcro stuff, just so we can Velcro our uh, LED light remote, and I can also add like a light or anything, and it'll actually stick to this carpet here. Around the side here, come on. Drop down this uh, toolbox here. I've also added a fire extinguisher, which is really easily accessible. You pull it out, spray down your fire, and we chuck her back in. Ultimately, I would have liked the fire extinguisher a lot more accessible, but all I could picture was someone coming along, grabbing it, and just um, having fun with it. So that's where it's going to stay. I'll try and keep this one unlocked here. I also did silicon up all the gaps on our aluminium top here, so we are fully waterproof up top. Um, that was very important because it's actually not fully welded around this edge here. So we are now completely waterproof. I did also actually add some mud flaps down the back and I just made a little curve in them just so uh, we can get some more clearance in the back. As you guys can see, this thing is bloody filthy. So I'm hoping that we can get this out. We can give it a clean, tie, shine it up, make it look real pretty. Then we can head down to the weigh bridge, uh, chuck on scales and find out exactly how much this thing weighs. And then that is gonna determine the future of the braking setup. Also got Harry behind the lens today. He's gonna to give me a hand filming. Um, I'm very excited to get it behind Cole and get it down to the weigh bridge. So yeah, let's let's get things moving. Let's get her clean. Get her on the back of the uh, old bloody patrol. Yeah, brother, how, how you going, Cuz? Oh, we're trying. Oh, oh, how you going? Oh, square up. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually just gonna foam it up and rinse everything off. That's gonna get all the uh, dust and like metal flakes off of the trailer so that when we sponge it, we're not actually rubbing that stuff in and scratching our fresh paint. Got the pressure cleaner set up with the foam bottle on our lance and we are ready to start snow foaming this thing. Right, the trailer is now clean. Let's see if the uh, water seals held back the uh, 2000 PSI I just hit it with. So, open this up. Oh no, she's in there. <laughs> As you can see, it's sealed up perfectly. Look, it's in there. Nothing at all. It's not too bad though. I was hitting it pretty hard. We'll have a look in here, eh? So we need a better seal around the back. So the top held it back. Look, there's no water at all, except for up there. It's this seal here that let that in because it's not actually shutting on it. All right. This is why we test it. Yep, so mission failed on the rear seal. Top seal worked fine. But if you see when this comes down, it's this seal here that just let that go. It's actually not too bad, really. 
Because when you if you're driving into rain, that's this is the back. Yeah. It's not going to be too bad. Now I'm just going to quickly detail up these tires because I just want to spray them with tire shine because I'm weird like that. Then we've got a hitcher on. We have to use the old Pintle hitch adapter because everyone keeps asking what the hell that donut is at the front. Special off-road hitch they used to use in like 1970. Very loud, very annoying, but I'm going to keep it for now because the hitch that I actually want is probably like 500 bucks. So I'll show you guys how that works, but I just want to quickly yeah get the tire shine on, get it looking mint. Diesel, the inspector. This is the uh, receiver for the pintle hitch, which is aka the donut at the front of the trailer. Uh, what happens is you pull this pin out here, and then this is actually able to lift up to receive our donut. Once it goes back down, the pin goes back in and it can't actually bounce off this hitch at all. So let's get it on. This is actually quite exciting to me. So that goes on, that goes down through there and over the top so it can't come off there we go so you can see it's going to bang around like like that but for the most part it is pretty good all right we are hooked up we have the power on i need to see if the lights actually work because as you guys know we have rewired most of this i haven't actually wired up the dual battery charger in the patrol yet i'll tell you guys why in a couple of uh episodes all right let's go chains better do the chains up <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road, guys. Harry, get in the bloody car. Let's go. Harry's going to do some filming for me and hopefully some drive-wise and stuff like that. We're basically completely unloaded at the moment. There's no water in it. There's no uh, real heavy gear in it. And um, I just want to see how much it weighs like that. And we can actually work out how much we can actually store inside the trailer itself. All right, here we go. I'm just going to drive this out of my driveway. I'm not going to film the front of the house um, for obvious reasons. First drive. Clicker. Yeah, that's the hitch. So if I was driving straight. <laughs> so far, so good. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah. It looks so good in the revision mirror. The brakes actually don't feel bad at all. Like the trailer doesn't have brakes, but my brakes in the patrol are normally pretty average. They still feel average, but doesn't feel like it's hindering me too much. Anyway, we're gonna head to the servo real quick. I'm gonna uh, check the pressure in the, in the tires, so make sure they're about 35, 38. I think trailer you want actually a little bit less maybe. It's not much weight, I don't know. We'll figure it out. At the servo and um, it actually just drove flawlessly here. Like I'm actually really surprised how well it went. The plug ripped out of it, I only just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs are out. So we're just going to pump the tyres up and we're going to go for the Waybridge. Is that right? Yeah. Waybridge, here we come. So we're just turning onto the highway, which means we're about to do 100 for the first time. So it's pretty nerve wracking, but everything's pointing to the fact that it's working really good. Here we go. It's got nerve wracking, but it's gone. It's doing everything that it should. It's rebounding back to being straight. Alright, I think we're good boys. Yo! 100 done. That's very nerve wracking. <laughs> when you've changed so much on a trailer, oh, that is that is something else. Driven too far, I can see the way we're just there. So 
we just get the trailer right bang in the middle. She actually just drove absolutely perfectly down to this way bridge. We even went up to 100, you've probably seen, and um, it was straight as an arrow. Every time it hit a bump, it would wiggle and then just go back to being dead straight. So I think putting all that weight on the uh, drawbar there and actually extending that drawbar has helped this trailer dramatically. Let's find out how much it weighs. I thought it was free, but it's not. Of course they're charging. This is completely unloaded. The trailer has basically nothing in it. It has no water. Um, it just has like a solar blanket, fire extinguisher, that sort of stuff. But I wanted to find out the weight um, empty, and then we can figure out how much we can actually put in. So what do you think it'll be? Put your guess in now. 8.50 on the dot. 8.50 on the dot. I, re I reckon, I reckon it's gonna be 700. I'm gonna guess, actually I'm gonna guess 708. Right. 708. $35. <laughs> Pack her up. Let's go home. I was wondering why no one was here. <laughs> Yeah, this place is really popping for 35 bucks a pop. 6.8. 68 kilos. 68 kilos. <laughs> 6.8 ton. 680 kilos. So we've got 640 kilos. Yeah, that's lighter than I thought. Oh, gross is 680. So we had 40 kilos on the ball. Once I put 60 litres of water in it, we're literally only 10 kilos off what we can be on this axle. Hmm. So 680. She's a thick boy. 680 is actually really, really light for a um, pretty much a full-size camper, in my opinion. Like a lot of those um, trailers that you buy from, I don't know, Chinese dealer places that sell Chinese junk, they're gonna be around about 1.5 ton, I think. So for us to be under 700 kilos unloaded on a trailer that has a 60 litre water capacity and all the storage that we have, rooftop tent, fridge, a drawer, I actually think that that is really good. Yeah, like I, I'm very happy, very happy with that weight. That is, um, that is outstanding. That's an outstanding performance from this trailer. Six, 680 tons of steel went into this build. 680 tons. Alright guys, the trailer has been a absolutely massive success. I'm very happy with how that just towed. So what my plans are from here is I probably will go to a brake axle, but what we'll do is we'll actually just drive it a few times. We'll go for a few camps and just enjoy it for what it is. But I do really want brakes on it, so when we're going down a hill, it's not going to be pushing us down the hill. Now that is basically the end of this build, guys. So that is a massive achievement. We have knocked this out of the park. I'll put a photo up here somewhere and uh, let you guys see how this thing actually started to what it is now. It's a massive, massive change. We basically redone this whole trailer. It near would have been easier to actually build a trailer from scratch rather than doing this one. But I think because this is an army built trailer, it is part of Australian history. And I really think that we have given it a second life and it's gonna be like this for years to come. It's such a tough looking trailer. I've never seen anything on the road like it. And I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out. So let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think of the final product of this trailer. If you guys really, really like the look of it, I think it just turned out absolutely perfect. I'm really, really, really pumped with that wooden table at the back. I think that's just added a tiny bit of class to this build. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this build, go down and drop a like. It really lets me know that you are enjoying this sort of content. It also helps my videos go a lot further. If you want some merch, head to roamlife.com. We have plenty there. If you want to follow me on Instagram, 
Instagram, it's at Rome Life, so you can do that. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there, 680 kilos, very pumped with that, it's absolutely perfect. It's on the money, I was expecting 700, so we're even a little bit lighter, which is good. Now coming up in the next few episodes is a massive bombshell to the channel, but I hope you guys are gonna enjoy what the plan is and what we're gonna do moving forward with Rome Life. But for now, we are done. I appreciate you guys all watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.